Kids got the report cards today too. Both excellent. Very happy with the report cards. They did. They both did really good. And the boy is doing so much better. And the in his comments, his his teacher, Mr. Cates, called him the class's culinary ambassador. And uh, he made a charcuterie board for his class last Monday with all different cheeses and meats and and uh, uh, homemade crackers and olives. And uh, Mr. Cates emailed us and said that we should apply for George Brown right now. Why waste any more time? Which is pretty cool, pretty fun. Anyway, okay, laddie with the putty. There was a lot of uh, laddies with platties at the Celtic Fling, I'm gonna tell you that. Okay. Here we go. It'll be this tempo to let you know. Nice and easy, no hurry for a march. One, two, three, go!
that was are all those notes. Yeah? We probably could have gone faster for Miss McCloud because we've been doing it for a long time. We did go a little faster, but I'm sure we could have gone even faster. What about Jenny Dang? How did that go at that tempo? Is it okay? It was okay. Do you think it could stand to be picked up a little bit? Okay, good. So what I wouldn't mind doing then is to take the reels on their own and see if we can do just a couple of runs to get them a little quicker. And then we'll put it with the march, which I wouldn't do much faster than what we did. Okay, not much faster, maybe just a bit of a spring in the step, as it were. Uh, but uh, but the reels we probably could stand again a little faster. So let's do some speed trials on that. Shake up my arm here. Hey Dan, just checking. Um, yeah. Are we are we doing just Miss McLeod's and Jenny Dang, or are we also putting Laddie in there? We're gonna do Laddie, but not. We're right now. We're gonna work on just the reels. And you came in uh, just as we were starting Jenny Dang, I think. Perfect. Okay. Got Miraculously, because I let you in with my foot while we were playing <laughs> Laddie with the platy. So if you saw my knee for a second there, that's why I was letting in Lena with my foot, which I, I'm pretty proud that I actually did. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jenny Dang the Weaver and Miss McLeod's Reel a little bit faster. Now, I kind of have a feeling, I'm remembering her from last time, and I kind of have a feeling we can do this. Okay, let's give it a go. And let's do them, if you have the arm for it, let's do them three times each. So we can try to get a little bit of this groove going. I know it's a hot day and everybody's probably suffering from smoke inhalation. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a try, okay? Much better today for the smoke. Yesterday was just awful. My God, barely went outside. Okay, here we go. Three times each for the practice. One, two, one, two, three, go!
I sped you up for Miss McClaws. How fast do you think you were going? Any guesses? Anyone? Maybe about 105. Hopeful, but no. No? Okay. <laughs> Anyone else venture a guess? 80. Close. 90. Close. Split the difference. 85. Now that's not bad. 85 is very, very good. Okay. So make a note of that because if that worked, that was a pretty good tempo to get that tune up to. Now, I know Jenny Dang probably wasn't as fast as that. I did speed up for Miss McLeod's Reel just because we've been doing it so long. But Jenny Dang should be able to get up to 85 as well. Okay? Take a little breather, and I want to try Jenny Dang at 85 just a couple times and see if it'll even work. And if it doesn't, just keep firing at the enemy. So let's say dee 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 the, the way that it goes into the bow is that the, the bow maker has all the hair and he crunches it together in a really, really tight little uh, bundle. And then he puts another hair around it and makes it as tight as possible and then burns it with a lighter a little bit, right? To make it crystallize and, and kind of stick together. And then he drives it in there. So if you start to pull the hairs out, eventually that little bundle gets loose and they all come out. And it happened to me one night at McVeigh's Fine Irish Pub. And there were hairs all over the stage and that was it for me for the night so uh yeah so don't pull them out just break them off okay are we ready to try jenny dang at 85. okay brace yourself helmets on I'll count you in. One, two, three, go! some panicked faces and some frantic lookings to and fro <laughs> everybody give me a report how about you let's start with you Astrid how did you do tell me all about your experience <laughs> how many things are on your fast for me <laughs> um and I'm I think my bowing is 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 as short as it's ever going to get because I'm trying to play it fast uh, and um, I, I think I've got my up and downs right. It, it, it's, it seems to work, but it just seems like um, my fingers aren't working fast enough in the left hand to, to coordinate everything. Um, okay. So 
anyways, it's kind of frustrating when I play it, uh, whenever we play it at 85, did we? It was better at the slower speed when it was about 75, I suppose. Yeah, I think it was about 75. So it just, see, that's just your little canary in the coal mine there. So 85 is kind of like you're pushing it too hard. Yeah. But, you okay. know, if you were practicing it at 75 and you tried it at 85, and maybe you it at 85, that would probably be a very good plan. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad the Boeing is good, though. I'm glad that the... Yeah, the, getting better. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Elaine? How did you do? Um, I was all right on the uh, uh, the main body of it, you see the turnaround from the the ending back to the beginning again. It took me a, uh, yeah. a bar to get into it again. For sure. Now, that's that, that one is a tough one because it doesn't let up. There's no, no long note at the end of Jenny. A little reprieve. Got to slam right into the tune again. So, da di da 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 be da di yum be da di da 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 da. See that? No, no stopping there. So keep that in mind. Just kind of when you're getting ready to start the tune again, just kind of get this headlong thing. So D A cusp. You know what I mean? Okay. How about you, Debbie? It just, uh, when it went da 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 da, I had extra notes getting in there somehow, like, duh. Okay. Like a note or two behind, and then I would catch up, and then it would repeat again, and the same thing would happen. And then when it would come to the second part, it would da 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 da. That second part that always gave me trouble, that was the smoothest of it all. Oh, God, that's great. Okay. Now, let me address your cut, because what happened to you is a very common thing that I've seen happen a lot, where you're putting, you think you're putting an extra note in, eh? Yeah, so, dee da da ka da ka Yeah, okay. A couple things you can do about that. First of all, when you do your cut, da ka da try to lengthen that bow. Throw it away when you're done with cut. Ding da da ka da 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 ding da da ka da See that? See if you can lengthen that long one, and your the instant another one will be nice. Okay. Also, you can always just play a long note. Di da da dum bi da da di da da di. And when some people, when the tempo goes well, maybe you couldn't get that from my singing. Let me try it on the fiddle that I know how to play. <laughs> so instead of you can just go see that and it's a lot of people find that very useful when you're trying to speed things up because if you can get it bare bones like that the odd time you'll get the cut in there see that and then you'll find that when you do start to get it up that's kind of come in and it's really it's a really good way to you can always just put long a or long d's or whatever it is it's an a a uh instead of the cut it's a quarter note long does that help okay the cuts will come in now how about you julie um my uh i've got two spots the cuts i tend to like tense up my hand Mm. Um, so you, you, as you're just saying to do the, let, like really make it go, you know, kind of throw it away. Cause I tend oh. to feel like I'm, I'm tensing when I do the cuts. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I was getting that those are getting better. And the one, the end of the third line always messes me up. It's the, um, you know, A, B, A, G, F. And I forget to hold the F for the, like the quarter note. And I just, I go down to the E and that always messes up my timing there. So I know that's the part I have to practice. Okay, so with the cuts, uh, I think it will just help to just kind of throw it away for sure. And with the other thing, just quit screwing it up and do it right and you should be fine. Totally <laughs> okay. fine. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally fine. How about you, Lena? You had the biggest look of panic. It was very entertaining. So I didn't expect that. That was a shock. That's big with a shock. But had I known, um, <laughs> maybe I would have, I just, it threw me off. Um, the cuts are great. Cuts going well. 
the right. issue I'm having is the same as Julie. The end of the third line, there's two last notes. Um, well, I learned this tune from you by ear a while back, and I don't think I played those notes at the time, or it was a different version or something. So that little section, I get a little tripped up um, because same as Julie, like the timing is weird. And then also the ending is a bit different than what I was playing before. So it's like um, a combat between. <laughs> so perhaps yeah. what you were playing before was. Uh... Right? Long F there. And yep. then it was just straight into the... That's right. But there's like an extra note or two notes in there? Yeah, basically. So instead of... See that one extra note there. So you'll get it. And it's a really good thing to get because a lot of people play it that way. A lot of people play. It. And it's good for, say, a dance where you're trying to keep things moving. So if you concentrate on eighth notes, that should come in because it's just a D major arpeggio. Okay, cool. Okay, very good, everybody. Let's do one more. This time, we'll ramp up. We'll start gentle, okay? And then I'll kind of, you won't notice me ramping you up, okay? It'll be a beautiful thing. I just got to make sure the girl is painting her teacher's pot for his present tomorrow. It's one time. Prepare yourself for speed. Let me start painting that girl. Oh, you're doing good too. Lovely. Thanks, girl. Love it. Oh my God, it's so funny. She's in there basically naked in a towel painting <laughs> painting little tiny flowers on the on the flower pot it's doing she's doing a really good job but that's still man she's just like it's gonna be like this okay we're ramping it up we're gonna do it three times we're gonna ramp it up we're gonna start easy and not scary at all one two one, two, three, go! Okay, cool. Okay, now let's just take a little breather so we can try our set again. And then we'll, uh, and the march. Now let's see about the march. See how fast we can get that. Here's how fast I would play it if I was performing it. Now what 
do you think? Do you think that's doable, that tempo? Now, always got to think ahead, of course. Uh, so that part might give you a little bit of a freak out, but I'm sure you'll get over it quick enough. So let's give it a try. So we're going to try Laddie, Laddie, all three tunes. Laddie with the platy, we're going to do at that speed. Okay, and I'll lead you into the reels. It's going to be a manageable tempo. Everything two times each. Alrighty.
Yeah. Okay, that looked more successful. Anybody having any problems? I, I just have a question. Yep. Sometimes I um I can't I, I read the whole thing through correctly and then I question myself as to where I am. And um and then I, I, I take a big guess, and this time I made a big guess and I was right. So my sense, <laughs> I know, I ended up with everybody else. But yeah. I, I, is that the way the musicians play it, like in real life? <laughs> Do they get mixed up? As... Well, first of all, reading it can sometimes pose problems in that way. Because it depends on the speed too, right? Because like, like when you first start off reading, there's something called, you know, driving faster than your headlights, right? So you're kind of, your arm is playing it a little bit faster than you can read it. Oh. See, that's a very common thing. So what I actually do in, in most cases when that comes along is just say, abandon the music. Just, just, if your arm, if your hand knows it and your arm is doing it, just let it do it, you know? Because you don't always have to, like, even when you're reading, 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 you don't, I don't always be looking at where I am in the music. Sometimes I'm looking ahead. Especially if, you know, there's bits of it that might, I might know, you know what I mean? Or it might be coming. So I'm looking ahead. I'm looking at what the, the next similar thing, you know what I mean? So you don't always have to be reading what you're playing. Sometimes you can read a little ahead, especially if it's a tune with a lot of repetition. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> amazingly. <good. laughs> yeah. Thank so you. just yeah. uh, quit reading and turn off your brain, and you should do much better. I did it <laughs> years ago. Okay. Great. Anybody else? Lena, how did you do with Laddie? Did you have problems with all the triplets? There ain't no way I can do Laddie that fast. No. The way. first, um, yep. I think the first two lines are okay. I just going into it cold, like I couldn't really, um, I didn't have it in my fingers. But now yeah, that I've right. done it one time, like the second time might be better. Yeah. Yeah, we all did it part. a bunch of times. We did it a few times before trying that faster tempo. Okay, I, yeah, I missed out on that. Yeah, but that might have been what happened there. Okay. But, but the that, first part I can do pretty quick, and then the last four lines, not quick. <laughs> um, what I think you should do about that is start each line. Two or three times, just the first two bars or even the first one bar. Just so that if you get a little bit mixed up at the end of one part, you can come in strong with the next part and write yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Especially with a multi-part tune, I always suggest that. The first bar or two bars of each part, do two or three times each. And uh, then you'll get a better sense of that, okay? Now, how about jigs? What jigs are we playing? Anybody remind me? We need a secretary. Some kind some kind of assistant they say you can do it with siri now you can just get her to control your life but i don't really like siri she bugs me and uh i don't want her telling me what to do you know jeez life is hard enough without some missus on your phone roaring at you it's just like the highlanders always roaring at me like because it's got these sensors about too, to being too close to things so it's always freaking right out when I'm parking or when I'm trying to pull into a space or, or, or parallel park or back up to a trailer. It really hates the trailer. My God, does it ever get mad at the trailer? It just stops because it thinks it's an obstacle that it's about to run into. Very annoying. Anyway, anybody remember the jigs? Cash? Oh, yeah. Young Liam was playing the cash there today. He's doing really good with it, too. What about, uh, do we do Swallowtail? Yeah? We should do Swallowtail, the cash. Did we do Morrison's? No, some people are nodding, and Deborah is not nodding. Oh, Deborah, you would love Morrison's. It is so good. Let's review it tonight so Debbie can get it. Now, I'm going to send it to you. Don't worry. We previously did a set with 
Irish washerwoman Morrison's and Swallowtail. Ooh, that is just a great set. Irish washerwoman Morrison's and Swallowtail. And we also did Swallowtail with the cash, just the two tunes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll start. We'll start with working on uh, uh, working on the uh, Morrison's because that's I find that to okay. I just sent it to you there, Deborah. You should have it. Uh, I find Morrison's is the most complicated out of all the three tunes there because it's got that long second ending. Takes everybody by surprise, including that poor young bass player that we had on tour with us there. He pretty well missed it every time, poor guy. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure he'll get it next time. <laughs> it's, so, it's sometimes funny to watch somebody that has no idea about the sense of humor that they are encountering and just watching their reaction to things you know what i mean like because i find that regular kind of canadian people don't find the same things funny as as uh you know irish and scottish uh catholic type there was tons of catholic jokes the poor guy from scarborough had no idea what to do about that i don't think he knew what a penance was for instance <laughs> Okay, are you looking at the Morrisons there, Deborah? Okay, I'm gonna play it, everybody, so so uh, so that uh, we can remember how it goes. And you uh, just keep trying to follow along there, Deborah. See if you can uh, identify the phrases as I play them. Now, what do you think there, Debbie? Are you remembering that? No? <laughs> okay, well, let's just go dead slow and play it about three to six or to nine hundred times. All right. Ahead dead slow, as they say. Okay. Just so I can see it. This is a good version, too. With... Uh, the James Morrison version, which is a very, very good version for sure. Okay, let's give it a go. We're going to go slow. There's something weird about my A string. It's bugging me. It's buzzing or something. I just put it on. Maybe not. Okay. Here we go. So it's going to be. One, two, three, go. Repeat. 
lay of the land. Okay? How's everybody getting along there? Not too bad? Deborah, you stayed in for most of it. Are you starting to get the lay of the land, how it works there? Yeah, in the second part, we got all these E's, right? So we got B E E F E E uh, A E E F E E. Okay, that's the first phrase of the second part there, the first two bars of it. And then we got B E E F E E, but then a scale. See that? And then we go back to the first one again, B E E F E E A E E F E E. And then this little scale to finish that out. And then more of the same, B E E F E E A E E F E E. And then a little bit more, but then this ending. Now, before we try the whole thing, I want to try the last line on its own. Okay, because I find it the hardest bit of the tune. So the very last line on its own. Okay, let's try that. Last line of the tune from F A F D up we go. I should be clear. The last one, two, three, four, five bars. Okay. The last five bars of the tune. It starts with F A F. A one, two, go. Same thing again. F, A, F, and then D. Ready, two, go. Time to be sure to be sure last time F A F here we go an odd one. I was uh, curious about the bowing on the last, uh, actually the the last um, one, two, three, those last four bars. Mm -hmm. I, um, there's a slur. And so do we do an up? We will down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. Are you looking at the slurs that are written in there? Yeah. Let's disregard those for now because those are specific to James Morrison. Okay. So what you're going to get is the up up rule in a J. So basically, the G. Do you see where it goes long G to short D? Um. Third bar of the last line. There's a long G stop followed by a short D. Um. No, I'm not getting it. No. I'll show you. Dee 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 where is my music? Here it is. Okay. So you see this here. Bring it over a little bit. So we got uh, this long G followed by this short D. Oh, okay. Those you would do in an up bow. That's a very common move in a jig. When you got a long note followed by a short note at the end of a measure, you're usually going to be slurring them into an, in an up bow for any jig, really. Okay. Okay. Same with this one here. Okay. It's right. a lovely bow. So, oh, well, let me see. That's how I bow that part there. Okay. All right. I'll notate. 
That's good because you'll find it all the time in all kinds of jigs. It's a really good skill to have getting used to the long note followed by an up bow or sorry, followed by a short note, slurred in the up bow if you're going up. If you're not going up, you, I don't usually do that because the next note turns me around then I'm back to normal. Okay, so if you're going up, and that's usually when it's on the latter half of the measure, like in this case. Okay, any other questions? Let's do it. Let's start at the top. Let's see if we can run this thing and get it working. Hold on here. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there's something weird about this string. I have to put it back on. I must have screwed something up on it on. Could be this little tail of string. Here. There, see if that makes a difference. It does. Okay, here we go. Oh, and when I do those rolls, don't worry about them. If you can do them, that's great. But if you just do long notes, that's equally good, okay? But I might end up doing the odd roll, just to let you know. I don't want to throw you off. Ready, two, three, go!
looked like it was halfway successful there, Deborah. At least halfway successful. How did you feel? I shut my eyes and just tried to focus on the Okay, that's a piece. That's a piece. That's a piece. Yeah. Put together a little bit. Oh, that's great. That's the way I do it. It's really, really good. Because I can't, I'm not picking the, like, I'm hearing it like a slow, like, slow, I, I yeah. don't know fast. Well, don't worry about that because you're just learning it, right? And we will be trying it a little bit faster. Actually, maybe we will. Let's try it a little bit faster for Debbie so she can hear what it sounds like. Uh, and you can even jump in if you can. Be really, really good, but it was not too fast. Just a tiny little bit. You can get the get the melody. You know, hearing the melody. Sometimes you go so slow you can't see the forest for the trees. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a very common complaint of mine, actually. That I go, so I, I just play so slow that you can't say to see the forest for the trees. That was a joke. I usually don't play slow at all. I usually play very fast. <laughs> anyway. Oh my God, the tartan people at this Celtic fling. Oh my God, that's what we used to call them when I was a kid. Americans that wear a little bit of tartan here, or a little bit of tartan there, and they and they come up to you and they're asking you all about stuff. My dad used to screw with them and tell them fake stuff. Uh, so people, why do you, I notice you tap your left foot and not your right foot. Well, I promised my father on his deathbed I would only tap my left foot and never tap my right foot. And he, they would believe him. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. It was so funny. He told them we had an outhouse. He would say, some people have two rooms and bath. We have two rooms and path. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's try it a little bit quicker here. Let's try it about like this. Let's see if that's going to work out, okay? All hands on deck. One, two, three, go!
Morrison's. Doing much better there, Debbie. I see you're getting in there. Yeah. How's everybody else? How's your Morrison's? Any problems, questions, queries, concerns, or complaints? No? Okay. Keep working up the tempo. Because I want to get it as fast as the other two. And I know that we were playing the other two like fairly lively. I remember because we've been playing them a long time. So I'd really like to get that going up uh, to match the other two. So basically just work on Morrison's this week. Just work on Morrison's. And oh, but next week it's getting busy. The summer's getting busy now. Jen's dragging me around all over the earth. We're going camping. We're, and we're going to be camping uh, next week. Yes, on the 6th, I'll be camping. So I got a bunch of videos to make you guys so you'll keep you going while I'm canoeing. Uh, Jen's been desperately dehydrating food um, so we can eat when we get in there. It's a five day trip, which is kind of cool, uh, four nights. Um, and uh, But anyway, we'll be back on the week after that. But this week, just practice Morrison's to get it up to the tempo. And the video I make will try to try to bring it up to the tempo with the other two jigs it'll just be those jigs to get the whole set happening as one one jig set okay all right have a good uh, couple of weeks we'll see you in two weeks and uh yeah wish me luck with all the portaging bye-bye